Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your first photography clients without a portfolio. This is a question I get asked all the time by new photographers, and it's a valid concern. When you're starting out, it can be difficult to get your first few clients because you don't have any work necessarily to show them. But don't worry. There are a few things you can do to increase your chances of booking those first few photography clients. So grab a hot cup of tea and let's get started. Hey there, I'm Sarah Petty, and this channel is for photography business owners to learn how to build a thriving photography business and still be there for your family. You shouldn't have to pick. If this is a dream of yours, it can be, then make sure to snap the subscribe button and click the bell notifications so that you can stay on top of what I think is the best business photography content on YouTube. I'm curious too, if you're not brand new, how did you get your first client? Comment below and I would love to know, and I'm sure everyone watching this video would benefit from your ideas and experiences as well. How do photographers get their portfolio without a client? What comes first, the chicken or the egg? So first thing you wanna do is research your target audience. Who is the clientele that you're trying to reach? Identifying them, who are you trying to attract? What kind of photography do they need? Once you know your ideal target audience and who that ideal client is, you can start to research where they're hanging out, both online and offline. Are they active on social media? Which platforms are they on? Do they belong to clubs and organizations like New Moms? A lot of New Moms are very connected. Do they volunteer? Where do they shop? Do they have kids? Where do their kids go to school? Do they have pets? All of these things are so important because if you know where your target client hangs out, it will help you get in front of them. Number two, make a list of your current contacts. Grab your phone, grab your holiday card list, everybody you know, and put them on a list. We call that a database. Anybody who might need or want photography, which I think to start with is pretty much everybody you know, because they know someone who just had a baby, who just got a new puppy, whose college kids just came home for a bit. So we wanna get them all on that list. This could include friends, family, neighbors, coworkers, your spouse or partners, co-workers, your parents or your kids, co-workers, basically anyone you know who might need photography services or know someone who does. Number three, you're going to reach out and follow up. This is where you reach out via email, phone, you can text, you can call, you can run into them somewhere. If you see on social media that they're going to an event and have a conversation with them. Be professional, let them know what kind of photography services you offer. For example, for me, I get into conversations with people and I say, oh great, so nice to meet you. So what do you guys do here in town? Like, what do you do for a living? I love hearing what people do and I'm interested, interested, interested. And then they're gonna have to ask me what I do for a living, which is when I tell them, hey, I'm a photographer, but a very different kind of photographer than what most people do. And I find out if they're interested or not, or if they're a photographer, or if they are married to a photographer, or their sibling is a photographer. And if they're not interested, no problem. No problem at all. I just move on to the next person on my list until I find a client who needs my services. I think so many people make marketing out to be this big scary thing when the reality is marketing's job is to bring a lead in. What you say to people, which is sales, is what books them. So you want to be comfortable having this conversation over and over and over again. Then the photography you create for them will kickstart your portfolio with the hope they can refer you to their network as well. Because I know you're going to thrill them with your services. And you know what? You can also use your own kiddos, your own pets, your siblings, your best friends to create that portfolio, not a problem. Number four, develop a promotional strategy. So once you've gotten a few images for your portfolio, it's time to start promoting yourself. Listen, boutique marketing is different than just advertising and paying a bunch of money to do ads. Instead, it's 
building relationships. It's one-on-one -on -one outreach. It's connecting with people. So consider reaching out to people in your community and building those relationships. Shopping locally, meeting business owners, joining local networking groups, volunteer locally and find out how you can help raise money for charities in your community. Donate your services to silent auctions. Send notes of joy. That's something we created at Joy of Marketing where we write notes to people just to connect with them. So if you're an introvert and talking to people freaks you out, just become the best note writer and share love with people. Create your social media channels for your business and engage with people. You don't have to live there day and night and listen. I bet if you go look at the average time spent on your phone, you're already there. <laughs> you're probably wasting time. So spend 15 minutes a day talking to people, engaging with people. Start posting images that you've taken to, as you're building your portfolio and start following and interacting and tagging people online as well as with local businesses who reach your ideal client. It's all about relationships, whether it's online or in person. It's not some fancy ad strategy, quite frankly, because your baby business, if you do have a baby business, probably doesn't have that budget yet. And you throw that money out there and you don't know what you're doing. You copy someone, it doesn't work. Then what do you do? I'd rather you invest your money in learning how to market better. Listen, I've got you here. If you want more promotional ideas, marketing, check out this video here. It's called four completely free ways to build your photography business as you do your holiday shopping. Listen, don't panic. Getting your first few photography clients can be tough, but it's definitely not impossible. Follow the steps I've outlined in this video and you will be well on your way to building a successful photography business so much faster than you thought. Cause listen, time goes fast. I don't want you to be at the end of your life regretting that you didn't go for your dream of being a professional photographer or growing it to the level that you know other people are doing and you can do it too. Look, I hope these tips were helpful. They've made a, such an impact in my own business and the business of the thousands of students we've taught this model to. If you're just getting started and you want feedback from a supportive group of photographers, join our free Facebook group. It's called We Are Portrait Photographers Who Want More Income and To Put Our Family First. It's not your typical Facebook group either. We lift as we climb, we don't do drama, and we support each other as a real community. And if you're stuck in your business or you're just getting started and you're not sure where to go next, book a call with one of my strategy coaches, no charge at all, to see how we can help you. Go to joyofmarketing.com forward slash book a call. Hey, thanks for watching and subscribing to our channel. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do it right here so you can get more content to help you grow your photography business. And if you love today's video, click right here to get more actionable steps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.